Hello, welcome to the third video in the uh, series where I talk about rules panes and uh, demonstrate how that module works for Drupal Camp Stockholm. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at rules components that have several parameters. We have right now, well, we have one parameter, one component that is called mark as done that we use in view spoke operations right now. This is my list of rules components in uh, on this site. <clears throat> and we're going to create one more component here. You can see I have a few components already created and provided by the uh, feature we have. I'm going to create one more that we can use to set the priority of a task. So the priority of a task, let's see, here is a task. Priority is a number. Lower number means higher priority. So. Here's a component. I'm going to use a rule as component because I need conditions, not only actions. Set task priority. That'll be the name of this. If I want to use this with views bulk operations, I better have the first parameter as an entity, and that will be the task we're uh, about to change. So that is a node. Let's call it task, task. And then I'm going to take another parameter, and I'm going to call that integer. It will take a node and it'll take an integer. And as you might guess, this integer will be the new value of the uh, priority for the task. <clears throat> priority, I'm going to call this priority. Good. Save changes. And now, as previously, I'm going to add a condition to check that the content is of type, that we actually have uh, a task here, that the task is a task. And when that is done, rules knows what kind of fields are on this entity. So now I can add an action, set a data value, and I'm going to change task colon priority, field priority, there it is. Continue, set value, and instead of entering something here manually, I'm going to switch to data selection and I'm going to use the priority that we have inputted as a parameter to this uh, component. And save. There we are. Let's head back to the components list. And I'm going to show you something that I actually should have shown you in the previous example. Uh, here's a component. I'm going to try executing this manually. Execute. This is very handy. It's a cool way of, of using components uh, in rules. It's not something you want to do on a live site when, uh, as an actual part of a workflow, but it's very good when uh, developing components and creating them. <clears throat> okay, so we're executing this set task priority. It has two parameters we have to enter here. Task uh, should have some kind of value here. I'm going to switch to direct input mode. And now I should just uh, set a node ID here. Let's have a look here. This is node 2, so I'm going to set 2 here and let put, set this to priority, say, 2. Execute. It's executed, and now the priority here should be 2 instead of 5. Let's see. Reload, and it's 2. So this component works. That's kind of fun. Uh, let's, have, let's add this component to our view, our bulk operations view. And we'll see what happens here when we have multiple component, multiple parameters for the component. Add the bulk operations field. Boom, 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 boom. Scroll down and have this set task priority. Here it is. Let's skip the confirmation step as well. Um, apply. And save. And go back to our project, reload. We should have a new button here, set task priority. Great. I can check this uh, task, set priority. And now we have a new part of the um, workflow here where we set the priority. The, this priority is exposed to us as a form. And we can have, say, 10 here. Next. And uh, this uh, component is then executed once for each row here. We set the priority to 10. All right. Um, cool. That's um, actually kind of it for, for this uh, uh, video. In the next video, I think 
I think we're going to... well, no, it's that's not it. Let's add uh, the other uh, actions as well and have a look at that. Bum, 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 bum. Bulk operations, because we have here some other components, I want to add all of these to the bulk operations view. So mark blocked, mark cancelled, set task ownership. Bum, bum, bum. Mark blocked. Let's skip confirmation. Mark cancelled. Skip confirmation. And set task ownership. Skip confirmation. Apply. And save. Now, this set task ownership, it has two parameters. It has the task that it is about to modify, and then it takes a user as a parameter. And as you might guess, this can then be entered as a UID, just as we entered the node ID when uh, identifying a node, we can specify a user here. Let's have a look at that. <clears throat> Reload here. If I check this task, set task ownership here, we're asked for an identifier for a user. Let's take user number one, that should be root. Dun, 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 dun. And there it is. We have changed the owner uh, of this task to root. Just as we did with the uh, set task priority, where we entered a number as, uh, for priority, we entered a user ID to set the uh, user that should be used in, in that component. All right, that's kind of it for this video. In the next video, we're going to look at how to use all of this in rules panes instead of usable corporations. And that's kind of fun. See you there. Bye.